Captain's log, star date 7011.9. We are continuing to record a navigational grid for this area of space-time as ordered. Though not far from the Klingon Empire, the mission has been quite uneventful. Sector 8, 355, photograph and stored, Captain. Very good, Lieutenant. Mr. Selleck, take command. I'm going down to the cafeteria. seems to have a bearing on our present situation. You can with tachyons are. As I recall, they're particles that travel faster than light, for which no one has found a use yet. And it's the truth, Captain, but only part of it. They cannot travel any slower than light. They exist in what is called Hilbert space. And just like our universe is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons, Hilbert space is made out of tachyons. And for every proton, neutron, and electron in our space, there is an equivalent tachyon in Hilbert space. Establish Hilbert space in a transporter, replicate a man in a tachyon form, and then send the copy to the destination. No murder ever occurs, if such in fact is the problem. Hmm. It seems to me that... Wait, Captain, there's more. Our present 30,000 kilometer transporter range is a flight of a net by comparison to a tachyon transporter. This means we can send a man to Organia from here. Upon his return, we keep him in Hilbert space until we've gathered the required information he's collected. And then we let Hilbert space go, and the replica becomes so much tachyon plasma in another universe. And our original has never left the ship. Obviously, Kira, you wouldn't be bringing this matter to me unless you were sure you already had the mechanics solved. But seriously, it will work. To modify one of the transporter stations is the work of a week. Good work, Kara. Proceed with your alterations at the transporter and keep me informed. And don't get involved with Doc as to the reality of the duplicate. Captain's log, star date 7032.1. Upon assurance from Mr. Carrick that there was no bodily danger inherent in his transporter modification, Mr. Selleck was chosen as the logical emissary to Organia. I have decided to keep the apprentice program being instituted on starships in effect for this maneuver. It looks the same. Is everything in order? Aye, Captain. Invisible shielding. As long as the field is on, the whole interior of the chamber is effectively in another universe. It has to be confined. What exactly is the procedure? Same as always, except the distance and the fact he won't disappear. His Tekon replicate will be sent to Organia automatically to return one day after materialization. While the Tekon replicate is on its way to Organia, we call him out of the transporter. Upon the replicate's return, we re-establish Hilbert space in the transporter chamber and maintain it long enough for the replicate to report. Mr. Selleck, are you ready? Yes, Captain. Well then, Mr. Selleck, I'm going to be with you.
from stations. If I send the real Selig into Hilbert space, he'll die. Yet the other Selig is here and alive. right now. You shall be referred to as Selleck 1 and you Selleck 2. What in the hell went wrong? You do not know, Captain. Under the new setup, all the pods were activated simultaneously, allowing for the change in position. But something interfered with the system. Well, I want to know the hows and the whys. Obviously, they both can't be tachyon constructs. But the most important thing for us to resolve right now is who is the original and who is the replica. Both Selex, come with me. Thank you. 
been able to bear on any situation whatsoever. There is truth to my counterpart statement. You can use difference in our thinking by striking a balance between them to the benefit of the ship until a situation can be corrected. Each of us is complete in attitudes, abilities, and memories. Therefore, for both our purposes, either of us is the original, and there is no reason to prefer one over the other. A difference which makes no difference is no difference. Very well, Mr. Selleck. For the present, I want you and your counterpart to stand alternate half-day watches. This way, I get both of your services continually, and neither of you has to give up his quarters. You are dismissed. Report to the bridge. Very well, Captain. An ideal interim solution. Maybe so, but your brother still wants you dead. Is Mr. Selleck there? Somebody here. No, Captain. It's not his watch. As a matter of fact, he did pop in for about five minutes, but he just left. He might try his quarters, or shall I take him for you? No thanks, Lieutenant. Nothing urgent. I'll be in the cafeteria. Kirk out. 4.9. The doctor assures me that due to the perfect symmetry of the Vulcan anatomy, there are no reversals of body parts. Selleck's half-human influence causes him to be right-handed but his alternate Vulcan ability enables him to easily control this. Engineer Carrick is experimenting with animal transportations and has been getting reverse specimens for the doctor to study, but they die shortly after materialization. sensor alarms so that any object within sensor range is instantly destroyed. 